welcome back to another vlog if you're new my name is lauren my hair is like not looking its best today it's really grown out i need to get it cut so bad i think i need to get like an inch or two taken off the ends but i get it done on wednesday before i leave for my trip it has finally arrived and i can't believe it um i remember planning this trip like six months ago and it's finally just around the corner we leave in five days and i'm literally i'm just like so excited i took wednesday off of work to kind of like get my hair done get my nails done self tan just take a day to finish packing stuff like that but i got some stuff in the mail that i'm just gonna go ahead and unbox for you first thing is trip related i bought like a few head scarves they look like this um i love wearing these i wore them like a few summers ago and i feel like they're kind of coming back in it's just like a nice accessory to add to like a bathing suit outfit or just like a pool outfit or at the beach on a cruise on the boat whatever just to like tie around your head and kind of like elevate the outfit in a way i used to have a cheetah one i don't know where it is but i got some like neutral color ones so i got like a cream I got this color they all came in a pack of four so it came with all of these like neutral colors but they're all the same i think they're all the same pattern yeah but you kind of just like tie it like this and then put it on your head so i'll like do an example and then you just like tie it in the back and um it like it's like a cute little headscarf so i got those for my trip i got them off of amazon so i can link that down below um i also got a package in from la cologne which is my coffee subscription um service i've been getting the same coffee over and over again because it tastes so good i just got another one of these if you've missed my previous vlogs i've been drinking this for a little while now i also needed to get a new container i think you i'll link this one down below i got it from target um if you do purchase this i like put everything in the dishwasher and that's like really bad like some things you're supposed to really hand wash and i put it in the dishwasher too many times and my old one kind of like stopped sealing so it wasn't like airtight anymore and this is like what really helps keep the beans fresh for a few weeks and um with my machine and I know like a lot of people are investing in the machine. You have to use like fresh beans. Store-bought beans are literally not the same. It, it will not pour right. It won't come out right at all. I'm just gonna pour it into um, here to help keep the beans fresh. I also got a package from Lux Unfiltered. This is part of my self-tanning routine so i got more of the hydrating self-tanning cream in the santal scent this is just like such a, a must in my self-tanning routine i self-tan basically every single friday it's like a full-time job um i self-tan every friday i didn't self-tan actually yesterday it's saturday but i didn't actually self-tan this week i left which you could probably like tell that it's kind of like weirdly coming off but i kept my self tanner on from last week and i moisturized twice a day and then i used this like once during the week and i feel like it kind of helped with like prolonging it but it's like coming off in certain areas because i obviously like work out every day and sweat is gonna like take off the other self tan and it's coming off kind of weird on my legs but it's really hard <laughs> so i feel like self tanning is like a hair wash schedule you kind of have to like fit it into your routine so since i self tan every friday it still is kind of hard to get off the last week of self tanner even though it's been like a full week it still takes like 30 minutes of like scrubbing and exfoliating and getting it off in the shower to like fully get it off and even then it's like still kind of there so the reason that i didn't self tan this week is because i leave for my trip on thursday of next week and i was gonna self tan on wednesday and like sleep in it 
I don't even know why I like feel the need to like tell you my schedule, but um, I know it's gonna be so hard to get like a fresh self tan off when it hasn't been a full week of wearing it, if that makes sense. So I wanted like an old self tan so that way it's like super easy to scrub off. It will come all the way off so that way I can have like a really nice fake tan for my Bahamas trip. I don't really tan easily at all in the sun. I wish I did, but I don't. So I know it's kind of like, doesn't make sense to self tan before a trip, but I like literally don't have any base tan. And I feel like I always come on here like really tan and you probably think that I'm really tan, but I'm actually not. I am like 15 shades lighter than the tan on my body right now. I'm very fair, my skin tone is very fair. And it's really hard for me to tan because I am like Irish, so I just don't tan really easily. So yes, I will be self tanning before my trip. Hopefully I come back with a nice base tan, but my current self tanner that's on my body right now is like on its last leg. Lastly, I got my order in from 1UP Nutrition and oh, they sent me more of this. And I work with them on a monthly basis. I always have a discount code that's active and I use their products literally every single day. Um, but I just got a re-up on my purchases that I purchased in the past. So I got the Kickstart Wellness Shot and something really exciting about the Kickstart Wellness Shot is it honestly is very hard to take. It is very strong, very intense. It's not like your typical ginger shot that you get at like Trader Joe's or whatever. It is very, very intense. And they're actually coming out with flavored Kickstart Wellness Shots. So they sent me some samples of them. I don't know if these are gonna be the only two flavors, but they're coming out with a pineapple and a mango flavor, and I feel like that will help a lot. And I think they're taking down the cayenne pepper and not putting as much cayenne pepper in, yeah. And I think that's what makes it so like intense is the cayenne pepper. So they're adding a little bit of flavor and they're taking out some of the cayenne pepper to make it a little bit more bearable, but it is really hard, but I take it every day. I'm like not, super sensitive to stuff like that. Like I can take a shot of apple cider vinegar. If something like benefits me and it doesn't taste good, I'm still gonna take it every day. I don't know what it is. Like if it's good for me, I'm gonna take it. So just wanted to share because if you guys have tried the Kickstart Wellness Shot and you're like, oh my gosh, this is so intense. They're coming out with flavors and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a lot easier to take. So I wanted to share that and then I also got more of my um, protein powder. I mix this with coffee. It's so good. It's a salted caramel flavor. And I just like blend it up and I blend it with milk and pour it over my two shots of espresso. And it's really good and I have it after my morning workouts. I even had it this morning because I decided to work out. But that is what I got in the mail this week. So I just wanted to share it with you guys. Um, I am going to go get some, I really want like a green juice really bad. So I think I'm gonna go to Whole Foods and get like some green juices to have maybe like a big jug of it to just have like every day. Before a trip, I feel like I always like up my immunity game and making sure like my immune system is really strong because traveling can really like knock it off and then that just like affects you everywhere. So I like to add in some extra things to really keep my immune system strong before and um, I'll try my best during, but definitely after as well. So I'm gonna get some green juices to kind of just like get some greens in and um, stuff like that. So that way I stay healthy and good before, during, and after my trip. So I'm gonna do that, break down these boxes and put the stuff away. <laughs> but I just wanted to share and start off the vlog. I know that was like a really long intro, but welcome back. Okay, it's a little bit later. I was sitting editing the rest of my video and now it's uploading. I was just about to leave the apartment and it's pouring down rain. So the green juice, I guess we'll have to wait. I'm just gonna start a little laundry because tomorrow I'm going to be packing everything. So I just wanna make sure all my laundry is done so that way I can pack and not be waiting on something to get clean to throw in my suitcase. And I am actually going to be packing in a carry-on bag, which I don't do. So it's definitely gonna be a challenge, but 
everyone, and when I mean everyone, I seriously do, is losing their luggage. Luggage is getting lost. I mean, as you guys know, I am a travel agent now and literally everyone who is flying out of the country is losing their bags. So I'm gonna be packing in a carry-on to try and prevent that. Traveling is honestly just so crazy and I've heard this from so many people. Don't check a bag unless you seriously have to. So I'm gonna be packing in a carry-on. <laughs> We're gonna try this out. I'm always the person that has a 70 pound suitcase. I always overpack. I always have to pay extra money. So this trip is gonna be different. I mean, I'm basically gonna be in a bathing suit every day and then just need a few dinner outfits. And we have a washer and dryer, so I'm probably just gonna wear my airport outfit um, there and back. So I'll just have the same outfit for that and just try and utilize the washer and dryer that we have and really just pack light. I mean, it's gonna be warm there, so I'm not packing jackets or coats or anything. So a lot of that stuff will be relatively thin and easy to pack and carry on. I just got home from Whole Foods. It started raining, so my hair is like not doing good. <laughs> but I picked up some big green juices. I got the green lemonade flavor. It has apples, cucumber, spinach, kale, and lemons. So this has about four servings. So I got one for me and one for Christian. And then I got some chocolate. This is my favorite brand of chocolate, but I just realized that I got the cashew butter with orange vanilla. And something about orange with chocolate just doesn't sound good. I was kind of rushing, so it might be good. We'll see, but I'll try some right now. I got some coconut water. And then I got two ginger lime poppies. I love having these. I've been like in the afternoon like craving something bubbly and flavored and tea and water just don't cut it. So I picked up some of these for those days. And um, yeah, that's all I got. I'm gonna try this. Just like don't love orange and chocolate. I know it's kind of popular, I guess, but I just don't love it but i was in a rush my favorite is just like the cashew butter one hmm it's not bad i don't love the orange but it's not like terrible it's not disgusting it's really subtle yeah it's good um i still love the cashew butter one but i'm actually gonna make myself one of these right now and sip on it and post my youtube video Hello, it is the next day. I am heading out right now to go to my dad's house to pick up a carry-on suitcase and then I'm gonna head to Target and get all of the little travel size stuff to pack in the suitcase because I'm not checking a bag. So I need all these various products that are mini and then I'm gonna just buy those little travel containers so I can put my shampoo conditioner body wash in so I don't have to buy the products for that um but yeah so that's what's going on today and then I've already started packing once I get back home I will show you guys my progress on packing and then finish up the process of it and um yeah just get it done I'm doing laundry today i'm on my last load of laundry so it's in the dryer right now so everything will be done but i don't think i'll be using any of the stuff in the dryer to bring on my trip or like for my trip so yeah so let's go to my dad's let's get the suitcase and let's get everything packed up i'm so so excited
got home from running my errands, I went to Publix, got some yogurts for the few days that I'm in town. So I got some of that for breakfast, and then I got some raspberries to kind of like switch up the fruit for that. And then I already had granola, so I'm just going to do yogurt, raspberries, and granola for breakfast. I also got some cashew milk for when I get back. This stays good until you open it, so that's gonna be for when I get home. I already have milk for the next few days. And then this for chili. We have um, another thing of chili in the freezer, so we're gonna do that for dinner one night, and these are really good with the chili. So that's a little Publix haul. And this is what I got from Target, so I got this little seven piece set and some extras. I'm gonna put my leave-in conditioner in here because it's like a spray bottle, shampoo, conditioner, some like brow products in here. Got some of these extras, deodorant, just got this Dove spray one. I hate using makeup remover wipes, but I'm not gonna bring a cleansing balm, so I just got some of those. My face lotion in a mini size. I love these minis, they're so cute. I also got a Batiste dry shampoo, uh, body lotion, and then some face wash and Q-tips. This is the progress of, I guess, some of the stuff that I have pulled aside. My dad actually only has a soft top suitcase. So I actually ordered one on Amazon, a hard top one, and I figured I can use it in the future. And um, I'm probably just gonna try and condense all this and put it in piles. So that way when it comes in the mail on Tuesday, I can just put it in the suitcase. But I'll go through everything once I get back from eating lunch. Krish and I are gonna go grab something to eat because I'm starving. Okay, this is what I have put together so far. It is kind of a lot and I'm kind of nervous how it is all gonna fit in a suitcase once my suitcase arrives. But I do have some extras in here that I can totally take out. I just put everything on the bed just in case it all does fit. But I have all of my swimsuits and cover-ups for the day and then these are all my night outfits for dinner and then just like some extra tanks and some like comfy shorts for just running around really quickly. We have a washer and dryer there so I'm just only bringing a few pairs of pajamas. I'm bringing two workout sets. This is gonna be my outfit for going there and then coming home. With my passport. I think I'm only gonna bring this hat, my beach bag, some head scarves and um, some of my toiletries. I need my makeup still and like my blow dryer and stuff like that, but, and then these are the shoes that I'm bringing. I'm deciding between the black or the tan um, because I really don't think I can bring both. So this is the progress. I guess we'll see on Tuesday when my suitcase arrives and how well it all packs. So, I mean, I guess we'll see. 